All right, let's check out the solution to this great little drag and drop challenge here. That sort of has a few parts to it, right? So let's take care of the first part. Let's take care of when we left click on a rock that we start to drag it, okay? Giving the rock some sort of state. So one way to do this, go to the rock. Let's go to create method and let's give the rock an instance variable called state. Now I'm gonna start the state at zero, zero, normal, one being dragged okay let's just change this to maybe not not being dragged now that's really all for the create method now what we want to do is when the rock knows it's been clicked we want to try to drag the rock so let's go to add event mouse left pressed and when it's left pressed now keep in mind you may have done a little differently when you did it because I'm going to modify this a bit later but most beginners will do this. They'll say, when I'm left pressed, I'll go, if my state is currently zero, then state turns into one. Okay. Now what this means is basically, if I'm not being dragged, then I've been clicked, well then I should start to be dragged on the left pressed. Now, what does it mean to have the state of one while I'm being dragged along? So let me go take care of that now. What happens when my state is one? So constantly, which is a step event, you have to be going wherever the mouse is. So all I have to ask here is I just have to say if my state is one, my x position should equal the mouse x and the y position should equal the mouse y. And that's really it. That's one way to do a basic drag, okay, from the rock object itself. If the state is zero, well, none of this happens. The rock isn't going to be moving. Let's just check out what we have here and see what it actually does in the program. Tick, tick, tick. So I click here. Nothing happens. I click on a rock. Its state is one. Now it follows the mouse, okay? Now what I have to do here is I have to let go of the mouse and I'll do that when I left click again. So left click to stop dragging it. So let's check that out. So that's still the left pressed event, right? So what I done before is if the state was zero, switch to one and vice versa. I'm going to say else if the state was one, then change the state to zero. So if I was being dragged another click, is going to stop dragging me. So let's test this out just to make sure it works. Keep in mind, we are going to come back and add a few little modifications to this in a bit. So click, drags, click, not being dragged. Click, drag, click, let go. Click, drag. Pretty easy, right, to do the clicks and the drags. Now, you're probably happy. It's sort of a cool feature, right? Didn't require too much coding. But what happens now is you start to fiddle with your program more and you realize, click, click 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 what happens is is you can do some weird rock stuff so you probably saw there um, I'm now sort of dragging there's definitely multiple rocks being dragged right there right because there's three rocks so we have little problems here I'm able to pick up another rock even when I don't have other rocks available so I have to fix this so I can't pick up multiple rocks. So let's check that feature out and how I can fix that. Now, to handle the picking up multiple rocks, there's lots of different ways to do it. But one way that I like to show students is to use a variable that's global that keeps track whether the mouse is already busy dragging something or not. And all you have to basically ask is if the mouse is already dragging something, then we're not going to do this code in here when a rock detects that it's been clicked. And so what we'll do is go over to uh, one of our other objects here. I'm going to use the master. And I'm going to go to master create. And I'm just going to use this as sort of one of my objects that helps control what the mouse is doing. And in master create, I'm going to make this global variable. And I'm going to call it mouse state. And I'm going to start the mouse state at zero. Zero to me is going to be 
zero. Not dragging anything. And one is going to mean it's dragging something. So this again, this idea of states is really powerful. So global mouse state, right? So I can access it nice and easily from anywhere in the program. Now, what I end up doing when the rock is left pressed is I can say if the state is zero for this rock and global mouse state is zero, do the following code. And I'm going to do two things. Remember, this is a good situation. The rock is not being dragged and the mouse is not busy dragging anything else. I'll change the state of the rock to one and I'll change the mouse state to one. So now I know it's been dragged. Perfect, right? Now what happens if I'm actually clicking on a rock and it is already being dragged? So this else statement here, right? I can say else if the state of the rock is a one, right? Which means it's been dragged. Well, I'm clicking on it, which means I want to let it go. I can switch the state to zero and also remember to change the mouse state back to zero to indicate that we are not dragging anything anymore. Now let's test this out. And this code has a bit better control. And all it required, right, was one extra variable there. So let's give this a go. Now the nice thing here is I click and I click and it lets go. I click, 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 click. You're never going to be able to trick it now and do multiple drags. I still have the same number of rocks that I started with, and all is good. Okay? So that's a nice, easy fix using the mouse state. And obviously, we just use mouse state 0 and 1. You could have a lot of other types of mouse states, right, to indicate maybe what you're dragging, you're selecting stuff, or what you're doing with the mouse. So it's a nice idea you can expand on later on your programs. Now, one thing we'd said in the challenge to do was don't allow this. Don't allow pieces to be stacked on top of each other like that. Okay, so otherwise you can't let go and be on top of something. Well, this is going to involve our place meeting. So let's check that out. Now you sort of wonder, when do you have to check if you're going to be on top of something? Well, it's when we're trying to let go of the rock. So that's when the rock one of its left presses and it's this case here right it's being dragged I don't just want to stop dragging and free the mouse up I need to make sure this rock isn't touching another rock so one way to do it is just to add a little and statement in here and we can just ask and remember we're coding inside of a rock right now so I can just say and place meeting And since the rock is being dragged by the mouse, it is at the mouse location. So you sort of have an option here. I could say if this instance was placed at my current XY, would it be hitting another rock? Sorry, would it be hitting another rock is false. That's okay then. Then we can let go of it and leave it behind. Or you could put here mouse X mouse y because remember this rock is following the mouse now the better one to do is since we are coding in the rock itself you may as well just put the actual x and y of the rock right now would it be hitting a rock if we let it go if that's false then it's okay to do this otherwise okay you don't maybe you play a bad sound or something like that right and if you did want to add the little bad sound line i'll just throw it in here I could put another little one here and place meeting x comma y o rock is true. You know, play some sort of bad sound. Right? And so the user knows, hey, there's something wrong there. Now, whoa, here we go. Does this actually work as intended? Let's check it out. And if so, I think this part of the challenge is actually done
click, pick up, I try to let go. No, the bad sound will be probably playing, right? Can't do it, can't do it, can't do it. Yeah, let's go there. No, I've done everything here with the left click. I know sometimes students say, well, no, 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 I want to let go with a right click or I want to hold the mouse down. You can obviously fiddle with this concept with the right button, left button, mouse pressed, mouse up, you know, and you just adapt it to whatever you want your interface to work like. Okay, but it's the concept of the states, the place meeting, and the mouse state, right, that make this all work nicely together. Anyways, that's that challenge. Hope you learned a little bit about mouse and dragging there. Uh, we have a couple more videos on the site that show you sort of neat things you can do with mouse. We have another challenge here that's coming up next, which is selecting units and giving them waypoints. Okay, which again we'll use mouse and stuff and uh, mouse X, mouse Y. So check that one out and see if you can do that one. Thanks for watching.